So far what we've done to this Lenovo 530 slimline is upgraded the RAM to the maximum of 16 meg, upgraded the power supply to 350 watts, and now we're going to take advantage of that increased power supply by installing this uh, GeForce 640 GT. All right, first thing we need to do is uh, open up the case. Kind of gotten good at uh, opening this case up. Right, we'll be installing the graphics card in this uh, PCI Express slot right there. We're going to need to take off this protecting piece right here. And the slot we're going to put it in is in this one right here. Before we go any farther, we're going to need to make this uh, a slimline graphics card. So you notice this is a full height um, piece on the back here. And this comes with one, one of these plates that you swap out that allows you to have the HDMI connection and the DVI connection. All you're going to do is take a pair of pliers and loosen these screws. Yeah, sorry if these are kind of hard to see because, uh, you know, black chrome is just like stickers on a car. Stickers make it faster, black chrome makes this graphics card faster. Technically, I don't even have to take this off because I'm not concerned with this connection. we got this back piece off now. Next is to disconnect the VGA connection. Just kind of wiggle it out there. What's left is to put the screws back in place. Take the graphics card, slide it in place, line up all the teeth, and then press it down until you hear it click. Before I changed out the graphics card, I did a Nova Bench test just to get some baseline scores. And before the graphics card was added, I ended up with uh, a graphics test of score 81, 3D frames per second, 258. Now we'll open the results from the graphics card with the proper drivers installed. You can see now that the graphics test score is uh, 239 with uh, 3D frames per second of 699. real world test for this is for me to reproduce uh, the last video which was about 8 minutes and 40 some odd seconds. Without the graphics card it took just over nine minutes to, to produce that movie using uh, PowerDirector 12. And with this one it's clocking in at maybe about five minutes and 15 seconds roughly is what it looks like. So just by changing out the power supply and adding in the new graphics card, I cut my rendering time for the video by roughly about four minutes. If you found this video helpful, click on subscribe below and thanks. When you start a project like this, you need to make sure you have the appropriate helper. You see mine helping me.